Uh, let's go to the markets, bring in uh, David Barnson this morning. David, hi to you. You're looking at stocks like, I was just looking at your picks, uh, Peloton and Zillow. Uh, let's begin with Peloton. Well, those aren't my picks. Those are me pointing out how badly they've gotten hit and nobody's talking about it. So I, I, ah. there's a whole list of these. There's a whole list of these. Uh, really kind of popular work from home uh, type uh, tech oriented stocks and people would be shocked at what's on the list because you look at Zoom and you look at Peloton and you look at DoorDash, you look at Twitter, Snap. I'm mystified that some of these names are down 30 percent up to 70 percent and it's really getting very little discussion. I think a lot of that t hot tech money is way down and it's moved into other tech money or crypto. And so then this brings me, Ash, to my picks. I'm more pointing out right. that things like value names, some of the energy and financial stuff that we invest in, and, and frankly, mm -hmm. a lot of the dividend-oriented names, I think are going to be the beneficiaries of the next iteration of markets as that high-risk stuff has come way down. And now people feel more safety in the FANG names, the very large tech names. But those are at pretty stretched valuations, too. And I suspect that there's a bit more fundamental story with some of these dividend names that, I, that we're quite fond of. Well, Amgen's one of them. You know, what are your favorite dividend stocks right now, David? Well, I'll, I'll just focus on the, the couple that, that we uh, send over to talk about today. With Amgen yeah. is a great example because it's actually down on the year and almost everything is up so mm -hmm. nicely. It's nice to find something that looks like it's at a pretty attractive entry price. Dav Amgen has a 3.5% dividend yield. They've grown the dividend over 20% per year for the last 10 years, and it's a great biotech name. It's had a few little sputters this year, but they're well positioned for future growth. All right. Any others that you like? Well, you know, we love those energy stories, uh, Ash. I get to talk to yes. you and Stuart all the time. We do like Chevron. We do like the midstream uh, sector. Uh, so there, there's, you know, plenty of different names that I think are growing dividends, that are sustainable, have strong balance sheets. Uh, and people right now hate consumer staples. So Kimberly Clark is an example. People are going to buy toilet yeah. paper, <clears throat> the paper towels, the things that they make, and they're paying you a 3.5% dividend yield as well. So those are a couple names to think about. Very good. Love those dividend plays as always. David, thank you very much. Appreciate your time uh, on this Thanksgiving Eve. Thank you so much.